Alright, so we're coming around, we got all the roses planted, and they're all done, we got everything mulched up. And just in case you're wondering, we use this shredded western red cedar. Got it at Home Depot or just any um, nursery, they usually have it, but that's what we're using. Like two inch layer of cedar mulch to keep the roses moist and humid in the middle of this Phoenix hot summer. And after they've been planted, I once we planted, we introduced some super thrive, and it's now a month later, and we transplanted a few. So now we're just gonna add a little bit more. And right now I'm adding a cap full per gallon. These watering pails are two gallons each, so I'm doing two capfuls. And this is kind of what it looks like. So, two capfuls. Yeah, that's precise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Strong stuff. So, two gallons per cap. I kind of spilled one of them. But uh, two gallons per, or two, one cap per gallon, two caps per two gallon bucket. Um, some say it's a little much, some say it's not enough. I'm doing the cap rule. But Super Thrive is super strong, definitely for any 911 emergencies or if you just want something to do really good. I wouldn't continue to use it as a like as much as you'd use kelp because plants tend to get addicted to this, meaning they just really love it. So yeah, just filling up each can, and then I'm gonna come in and just water. Let me show you guys. Someone's got Super Thrive. We transplanted a few of these. So now I'm just gonna add that extra love. Super Thrive is truly amazing. A friend of mine said that instead of using Super Thrive, you can combine B1 with a liquid kelp, and that'll give you similar effects. Um, I probably would just use all three, but my go-to if I'm not using Super Thrive would be kelp, liquid kelp, um, liquid kelp, fish emulsion, and uh, humic, uh, liquid kelp, fish emulsion. Some people say humic acid, but I've been um, reading some stuff and heard a lot of things about humic acid. Heard a lot of good things. Even heard that it's a scam. If anybody heard that humic acid is a scam, leave some comments. Uh, so that's what I'm looking into now, but definitely kelp and uh fish emotions de definitely great together all right 